but it's online now. Yeah, he's in now. No, he's in. He's in. He's in. Yeah, he's not set to the car. For me, I would say, yeah. Sound, stream, yeah. <laughs> You're right, man. No worries. Here we go with Silverstone, Extreme Racing 2, Season 2. And we've got a dry run in for racing and the uh, qualifying. Rain in 30 minutes for the end of 
qualifying to Q3 potentially. Right, we've got both the Ferraris going out. The path's already out, starting his out lap. Same with Dedger. Worthy Smiles also out of the lap. I think the first person that's going to cross the line is going to be half to start his lap. He's currently going through Maggots and Beckett's onto the hangar straight. Path starting his lap. Oh, Joe Pelly has left the session. Seeming with technical issues. Yeah, it says he's still in the pit, but he is definitely on track. He is ghosting on turn one, I believe. Not turn one, turn four, I think. Well, they go to disqualify from the session. So his car's now took AI. Yeah, he's moving now, yeah. That's really weird. Yeah, the flag's in sector one, sector two. Oh, Jamie keeps going sideways through turn four. Someone's missing their front wing. Who was that? Oh, Mr. Schmid's going backwards. Where's that? Turn three. Here we go, Path's about to set a lap time. Uh, oh no, maybe he's going again. Gonna easy RS deployment. He starts with 30.9, that is a slow first lap. Maybe he's made a mistake somewhere. Pushkar's taking the scenic route. Who's next across the line? Looks like it's going to be... I don't know, he's going to the pits. Looks like it's going to be the McLaren of... Oh, who's that? Where are these smiles about to settle up? There you go, 28.1, that's more like it. A lot of people going back into the pits. Got CJ Allen warming up his tyres. There you go, Matt Anderson set a 29.2. Oh, Jamie Keats, a slow lap time as well, 30.6. Randoms is also on a lap time. Headed into the final set of corners. Gareth also sets a 31.4. Oh, and Gareth binned it into the wall after turn one. Disqualified from the session for blocking the pit lane. Mike sets a 29.2. Not good lap time there, Mike. The path does a 29.27.3. Good time that is. Very good time. Cars and validators is lap time. Going through Maggots and Beckett to rumble with CJ Allen. Yellow flags are set to one and two, assuming that's for people moving out the way. Oh, 
Oh, there's a Tauros in a really dangerous place somewhere on the track. Is that randoms? No, it's randoms. He's going slow. It's just me with a 212. Don't know what's gone on there. CG Allen says a 27.6 in the midst of that. Jamie Keats has also done a 27.5. Good lap time from Jamie Keats. Zola is coming into the pits. We've got 13 people watching the stream. A large amount of people watching this tonight. Assuming for the amount of entertainment into turn one on the first lap. Oh, migrating host. Zola has left the session. Maybe having connection issues. Yeah, yeah, man, I can hear you, I can hear you. Maverick sets a purple first sector. Maverick going wide. Just kept the lap time though. Oh, someone's someone was uh, off in Maggots and Beckett. I'm assuming they were moving out of the way for Maverick on his hot lap. Maverick's going into the last set of corners. What time's he going to do? Yeah, you've joined, Mike. Maverick sets a 28 flat, and it's low also sets a 28 flat. Push cars going slow on the hang straight, assuming he's moving out of the way for people. Smooths also on a lap. Start his lap time. Smooth's about to finish his lap time. And he sets a 29 flat. Anderson's to three laps on his set of tyres. Edgar's also now set a lap time. A 9 2. NB Soccer's about to finish his lap as well. It's going to be a slow lap time. 32 5. There's nowhere where he needs to be. Penku's now set a 37-2, which is not where he needs to be either, but he's about to start his lap. It's low, it's also posted at 27-9 in the midst of all that confusion.
boost and push guard both on outlets, both the Williams. Baker's on, Leslie's just entered the pit lane. Baker's also entered the pit lane, flying up to that pit lane. Kenzak must have invalidated his previous lap, so yellow flag in sector one. Kenzak sets a 28-1. Lap time from Kenzak. Beard Boost is about to start his lap. Ball on board with Beard Boost. The other flag in sector 1, moving, assuming that's someone moving out the way of Beard Boost on his hot lap. And the soccer's also set a quick lap with a 28-9. Beard Boost came second in the earlier X1 race earlier in the day. So hopefully this should be a fast lap time as long as he doesn't invalidate the lap. Final sector. The boost of push car, the only people not set a lap time at the moment. The boost sets a 27.8. Good lap time. Covelli is clearly having connection issues at the moment. As he's constantly rejoining and joining. He's about to start his lap. Push cars just set a 27 7 as well. Another good lap time. So looking like the top. Potentially top 10 are definitely safe. Top 11 need to be careful. Thank you, and randoms are both on out laps. We should be setting quicker lap times. So that Mr. Schmee is still going in his lap. Not been invalidated yet. It's gone wide there, very wide. Picking up a late apex, trying to uh, shot his way onto the straight. Currently have three minutes left in the session. So people in the pit lane who want to uh, get out for a lap need to start going out for a lap now. Edgar's definitely slowed down on this lap. Oh, random's a spun. That's both of his end plates. Oh, he's just doing donuts at the moment. <laughs> His rear tyres will be shot. And who's on his lap. Currently took two seconds out of his lap time in the first sector. Randoms is still doing donuts. After turn four. Still doing donuts. Might be getting a uh, disciplinary action after this.
Anchor set to 28.6. Might be safe. Joe Pelly is definitely having connection issues at the moment. Michael Booker is currently on a lap. Currently a tenth down on his personal best. He only needs to find probably three tenths of a second to go quicker. Yeah, the flag in sector two. Michael Booker does not improve. My screen, Mark, you're looking a bit laggy as well, mate. You're looking very laggy. Mr. Schmees is like he's going slow. Building up for his uh, last lap if he's got. I don't know whether he's got time to even get round. He's going to struggle. Mark, you're going to be safe, mate, because everyone else is in the pits. Shmi's entered the pit lane, so he's going to be out. So it looks like... The uh, current... standings for this uh, qualifying session is going to be set. It looks like the path is set the quickest time with a 27.3 and then it's Jamie Keats with a 27.5. CJ Allen with 27.6 and uh, Push Carl with a 27.7 and then Beard Boost rounds up the top five with a 27.8. Followed by It's Low, Maverick, Kenza, Worthy Smile, Anderson, Penku, NB Soccer, Smooth, Zola, Deadgut, Constant Jet, Mr. Shmee and Randoms who was doing donuts at the exit of turn four. And then Glambourne and Joe Pelly which have been disqualified from the session. Oh, and uh, Mr. Anderson's also left the session. The people that are out of Q1 is Constant Jet, Mr. Shmi, Randoms, Glamborn, and Joe Pelly. So we now have the top 15 for Q2. People might need to get their uh, qualifying laps in quick for Q2 as well because of the rain that is coming very, very soon. Now we move on to uh, Q2. Oh, 
Oh, it started spitting with rain. It has started spitting with rain. So people are going to want to get out into the pits, out into the pits, out into the racetrack very, very, very soon. All the cars are warming up their engines, ready to go out onto the track. Both Mercs are leaving the pit lane. The Renault. I think there's a Williams down there as well. Other Renault. Racing points. Mass exodus from the pit lane as we speak. Mass exodus. So it looks like Beard Boots is the first one out on track and he's gone on to mediums. Bold, bold, bold decision there from uh, Chris Harley. Being followed by a Mercedes and then a Renault and then another Mercedes. But everyone has left the pit lane except a lone Ferrari. Which looks like it's Jamie Keats. And he is now leaving the pit lane. Be uh, interesting to see what um, Chris Harley sets as a lap time. So currently we have James Keats on the softs. Uh, CJ Allen, Beard Boost, and the Path also on mediums. Push cart, Mike. Paul Booker, Envy Soccer and Anderson as well as Kenza, thank you and Worthy Smile on Softs and then Itlo, Maverick, Edgar, Smooth, Path, Beard Boost and CJ Allen on medium so we have a split of this field but Beard Boost already looks like he's struggling on their mediums. Run wide. Every second it rains is getting worse with these drivers with these slick tyres. Joe Pelly's left the session again, struggling with his internet connection at the moment. It's gone wide. These cars are now definitely struggling. The RS has now been disabled as well. Oh, path's gone wide. Push car's also gone wide. Smooth's binned it. Anderson looks like he's binned it as well. Dead goes well into the pit lane. Maverick's also binned it. Kenza's binned it. Where well, this smile's binned it. Everyone's binning it at the moment. Everyone's really struggling with these conditions. No, I haven't binned it yet, no. Beer Boost is still on his lap time. Looking wet on this track. Oh, yellow flags in sector one, sector two. Oh, Mike's now has been it. That's really struggling with these. Oh, beer boost is struggling. Whether these times are going to be fast enough to uh, not get passed by the Inters. Beer Boost is going to do a 150 point, 150 flat. There is a push cars going slow. Oh, MB Soccer is going to try and finish his lap on the softs. Where he's going to be a lot slower than Beard Boost. CJ Allen's in a 52.8. Etzlo's in a 56.7. Maybe Soccer with a 54.6. These cars definitely need Inters. Both the Alphas are pitting. Dedgar has come out on mediums. Oh no, he's out on Inters. That's just the. Uh, Hang on, yeah, it's supposed to be tyres, aren't they? Right. There you go. 
Yeah, I think it's the first out on Inters. Moves pitted. I would be surprised if Pushkar continues with this lap. No, he is now pitting. Apparently, I need to say hi to cheerleader Lawless Cookie, who is watching Michael Booker. Oh no, I forgot. Uh, I've been told to say hello, hello to uh, uh, Brendan, Brendan's family. It's Lowe's. It's Low. It's Lowe's family. So if you're watching, hope you're enjoying uh, whatever relation he is to use uh, performance today. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Lowe's now got to get a pole. That's his. Uh, that's his target. Got to impress tonight. See who bins it on their outlaps today. Oh, Degger's binned it into the wall. He's took his end plate off. Out of turn, uh, turn one. Oh, he's reversing back onto the track. Oh my god. <laughs> he's reversed back onto the racing line. So he's off the racing line now. Going too quick into turn one, I suspect. Jamie Keats is out on inters. Edgar was the only one that was setting a lap time. Everyone else is on out laps or in the pit. Oh, he spun again. He's gone again. Binned it out of turn four. Smooth binned it as well. Where's that? At a turn five. He was on an out lap, so it won't really matter. He's about to start a lap. Looks like uh, Mark's about to start a lap. I am Kenza's also on a lap. He's not binned it in turn one. Oh, someone else has binned it in turn one. I don't who that is. Oh, it's Michael Booker. He's also binned it into turn one. Oh. No, maybe he hasn't. Ugh. Right, everyone seems to be starting laps now as well. Oh, there's a Williams in the, in the uh, gravel trap. That is Push Guy. He's also took off his end plate. Gone straight on. Uh, uh, Magnus and Beckett's assuming he's moving out of the way. Then we keep struggling for traction, squirming all over the place. Push cars still on the grass. Flagging sector three. So that's probably push car getting out of the way. Yeah. We've got, I think uh, Iron Ken's that's supposed to be setting the first lap on these inters. He's in a 40.5. So that's a target for everyone else to beat. Oh, Mavic at a 39.7 and with a smile with a 40.3. So, uh, Kenza's time is currently plummeting with Anderson also doing a 40.2. And the path sets are even quicker, like with a 39.2. 39.2, 39.7. 
Looks like Jamie Keats is also on a lap time. But Jamie Keats sets a 40.5. MB Soccer set a 40. Oh no, that was his previous time. He's currently on an out lap. Who's currently on a lap? It looks like it's Lowe's on a lap currently. Oh! Definitely fishtailing out of there. Move sets of 44.7. Yellow flag in sector two. Beard sets of 39 flat. Still a yellow flag in sector two, assuming it was for where they smile moving out of the way. And I am Kenza sets of 39.2. Also set a 42.6 and it's low sets a 40.9. So it's looking close between the top 10. And the flag in sector 3, we've got a uh, worthy smile on the grass. Every soccer's about to start, here's that. Baker's about to finish his out of that. Hopefully he doesn't spin it at turn one again. Smooth's coming into the pit lane. Is that Matt Anderson starting a start a lap? He's three and a half tenths under at the first sector. He's own time. Got a yellow flag in sector three. Flag in sector two. See if anyone spun. Oh, we've got. Oh, it's, yeah, it's Chris is moving out of the way for everyone. It slows about to finish his lap time. What's he going to do? Run out of ERS. Into the 40.2. Looking very close between that top nine. Push cards currently. Oh, he's invalidated his lap time. He's going to get round to do another one. Michael Booker's on his lap. So is Dead Gert. So Penk is on a lap. Beer Boost is retired in the pit lane. Penk is three tenths under his own time at the first sector. Smooth's coming out the pit lane. And Bieler Soccer's about to finish his lap time. What's he going to set? And he goes 10th the 42-2. Right in the drop zone. He needs to go quicker than that if he wants to get through. Smooth going slow on his outlap. He needs to start going otherwise he's not going to be able to get round. I don't think he's going to have time. He's only got a minute left. No, he's definitely not going to get round. Here we go, Marco Booker coming into the last set of corners. Back of the hangar straight. Marco Booker's coming into the last corner. And that'll be RS. And he's gone 10th for the 40.8, but he's there's a lot of space behind him. Push cars in the pit, so he's not going to set a lap, so he is out. Edgar's on his lap. Smooth's not going to make it round. Enemy Soccer's on a lap time. He's currently four tenths slower than his current time. Penku's a second and a bit under his time. Oh no, I think that's just a lap time. Yeah, Penku should set a lap time of 41.5, but he is starting another lap to try and go quicker. It's 
smooth is not. No, smooth definitely isn't going to make it. It's coming into the pit lane. Push cars out. Degas coming round. Magnus Speckett, she's gone very, very, very wide. Jamie Keats, that's a faster lap time over 38.6, trying to get that wet practice in in the Scuderia Ferrari. So the only person that can uh, beat Michael Booker is currently either Degger or Penku, but Penku is six times slower than his person's best. Beck is coming through the last set of coins, he's run out of ERS. And he sets a 43-3. So he's 13th. So it looks like it doesn't look like Penko's gonna go any quicker either. So it looks like uh the top ten are safe and through to Q3. Michael Booker's wide. Assuming he's moving out people. So the top 10 are going through to Q3 are Jamie Keats, Beard Boost, Anderson, Kenza, CJ Allen, The Path, Maverick, It's Low, Worthy Smile and Zola, also known as Michael Booker. And luckily for the top 10, they're all going to have a free uh, tyre choice for the race due to the fast laps being set on intermediate tyres. So the bottom five that have been eliminated from qualifying session two are NB Soccer, Penku, Degger, Smooth and Pushkar. NB Soccer missing out by half a second and the others Pushkar didn't even end up setting their lap times so I'm assuming he invalidated all of his lap times. We move to Q3. Oh, that's glitch, that is. It says it's lap one of 26 at the top of my screen. So it looks like we have a wet Q3. Mercedes out first of, I think it's, uh, it's low. Oh no, it's uh, Michael Booker. It looks like Beard Boost is out first. Yeah. Brake pads glowing. to the outlaps except Michael Booker, Maverick and Worthy Smile who are still in the pit lane. Oh, 
wonder whether we'll have any spins in this uh, qualifying session. See if we'll have any more donuts. So, like, Bear Boost is going to be the first person to set a lap once he starts his lap time, as long as he doesn't invalidate it. Still see a little bit of blue sky in the uh, top of the picture. Bear Boost is now starting his lap time. Goes into turn one. Oh, Kenzo looked like he was struggling out of there. Joe Pelly's joined the session after a bit of a problem. Looks like the yellow flag in sector three. Like Maverick's going a bit slow, probably uh, waiting to, uh, yeah, saving a bit of fuel. Jamie Keats out on the grass out of turn four. Air boost coming, but into Magnuson, it's about to start these uh, Magnuson Beckett section. I think it's the fastest I've ever seen a Williams go round here. Boost to the end of the hangar straight. Going down to the last set of corners. I wonder what time he's going to set. It's going to be 41 flat. I think conditions are worsening out there on the track at the moment. Jamie Keats has invalidated his lap time, so he's going to have to go again. He's going wide. Pass us a 40.7. It slows a 42.6. Mavic went wide. Jamie Keats is slowing down, and soon he's worried about running out of fuel because he's invalidated this lap as well. Moving out of the way for other drivers. CJ Allen also sets a 40.8. And Anderson set a 41.8. Maverick sets a 41.9. Needs to go faster if he wants to get anywhere near pole. That's uh, start the final section of corners. Moving to the final section of corners. Oh, he's gone wide. Not a VRS. I wonder what time he's going to post. 44.5 needs to be quicker if he wants to get out of the order. Yellow flag in sector 3, probably for someone slowing down. Probably Ken's just starting his lap. Or oh, I think he's about to. Yeah, he's about to start his lap. Yellow flag in sector 1. Looks like it was for Michael Booker.
Yeah, looks like in sector three. Where these small going slow across the line. I'm wondering whether he's. Oh no, he's uh, He's hit the wall. Damage his front wing. We need to get back to the pits quick if he wants to go out again and try and set a faster lap time. Well, he hasn't set a lap time, so he's going to need to go out again. Jamie Keats is on a lap at the moment. Beer Boost has uh, selected wet tyres, so could be about time for full wets. Jamie Keats ends with Maggots and Beckett's. He starts his run down the hangar straight. Get a flag in sector two. Maybe there's someone moving out the way. Apparently, Michael Booker has run out of fuel. According to him, he's looking after the economy. Not the economy? That's not the economy. It's the. Um, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. Environment, that's the one. That Maverick and Beard Boost have selected a full wets. Jamie Keats sets a 41.6. I don't think these cars are going to go any quicker. Oh! Oh! Jamie Keats has sent it. He's binned it out of turn two. Destroys the 100 metre sign. At least he has not destroyed his car. Enters in the pit lane. Early smiles trying to get back to the pits. Going very wide. I think the only person we've got on a lap, we haven't got anyone on a lap. But I think it's about time for the madness to start, the rush of the uh, last couple of minutes of Q3. The full wets. Beer Boost is trying the full wet tyres. Probably thinks they're going to be quicker than the uh, Inters, probably because it's now too wet. Start his lap. Mavericks also on an out lap on in full wets. See if Beard Boost bins it into turn one. Oh, nearly, nearly bins it. A bit of opposite lock to try and control the slide. Oh, he's really struggling. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's struggling, sliding into all the corners. Struggling for traction. Oh, he's only lost it into turn five. Oh, yeah, and he's lost it on the straight. He's gone on full wet. He's just, he's just destroyed the Emirates sign. Oh, yeah, he's definitely struggling for traction. Definitely not full wet conditions. But that's his uh, qualifying over. Where this I am being told it is definitely full work conditions, it is not intermediate tyre weather. Britain showing its true colours. Every race that we've had this week so far has been dry. This is the first wet qualifying session we've seen. Well first yeah, first wet qualifying session. Oh, I thought I was a... Uh, yeah, Jamie Keats has spun it on Inters. Went out of Maggots and Beckett's. He was on a fast lap. He's going to get round to start another one, though. Oh, Jamie Keats is sliding into the last couple of set of corners. Jamie Keats is now pitted, so his qualifying's over. 
Maverick's now setting a fast lap. He's four tenths up on his uh, best time in sector one. See Maverick coming through Maggots and Beckett's now. He needs to go a couple of tenths quicker to beat Jamie Keats. Because he's four tenths up. That's it, qualifies over. So what Maverick's going to be the only one to actually set a time. Oh, and he said he's gone fourth with a 41.5. He's beating Jamie Keats and Matt Anderson. Rick Slow's currently four tenths lower, so it looks like he's going to stay where he is. Whether well, these smiles have been the only one to brave it on intermediates at the moment. And just coming through the last corner. And he goes seventh. There's a 42.5. So we're now going to see, because uh, it's loads retired, I'm assuming he's just retired in the pit lane. Oh, this one's binned it! Quinn out of Maggots and Beckett. at that time so it looks like the grid is now set for a uh, race so he comes into the pit lane So the final standings for qualifying three is the path is on pole with a 40.7 in these work conditions, followed by CJ Allen, Beard Boost, Maverick, Jamie Keats, Anderson, Kenzak, Itzlo, Zola and Worthy Smile. Worthy Smile not set her up time at the end. He binned it into a wall out of Magnus Beckett's. Thankfully for these boys, the race is dry. However, I suspect we will be seeing some action into turn one. So we'll have a five minute break while everyone does what they need to do, including me.
Yeah, that's my Xbox. Has it stopped buzzing? So I have my mic down next to my Xbox on my Xbox see if you can hear the fan. said Mark I didn't hear it oh I know what hang on yeah yeah I know I know what it is it's um yeah hang on no I need to restart my game hang on Oh fuck, I've clicked ready up, not spectate, bollocks. Yeah, I'm loading now. Yeah, hang on, it's just please saying please wait, hang on. No, yeah, it's alright. It says please waiting for players. It's alright. So right. my name's not on there. Right, here we go, start of the British Grand Prix, Extreme 2, Race 10, Season 2. Wonder whether it's going to be dodgems or they're all going to be nice and smooth into Turn 1. X1 race wasn't very, uh, wasn't much to shout about, we, didn't have, we had a safety car on lap 1, so... Here we go. And we are... Go! CJ Allen looks like he's going to be first to turn one. Looks like no accidents so far. Oh no, we've got a spinner! Push car's gone round. There's an Alpha, there's a um, McLaren, a racing point. All in that smash. But it looks like no one has retired. There's a bit of wing on the centre of turn three as well. CJ Allen's in the lead with Beer Boost following a path in third. And that is Jamie Keats diving in, into turn. Oh, half gone really wide. Looks like Kansas is going to try and sneak up the inside. Jamie Keats. Looks 
So like Beer Boost is going to go for a move on CG Allen. Going to try and get the switch back. Into Max. Oh, the path spun. CG Allen holds on to his knee. So Bear Boost is going to go for the overtake into, at the end of the hangar straight. He's going to try and go around the outside of Kenza. Oh, and he's done it. Made the move stick. Kenza going to go back for him. He is. Oh, Bear Boost held it, I think. He has. Great battling into the last set of corners there. Path is down to 17th place after that spin. got CJ Allen and Beer Boost starting on the soft, soft sides with Jamie Keats in third on the mediums. I am Kenzak's gone down to foot. Sorry, it was CJ Allen he was fighting with at the beginning of that race. I think the path, uh, Penku and Joe Pelly have all pitted. Penku's gone to hard, so is the path. I suspect Joe Pelly will be doing the same. Jamie Keats is leading a train at the moment of uh, I'm Kenzak, Maverick, Anderson and It's Low. And then uh, Michael Buckner has got Worthy, Smiling, NB Soccer, Degger and Randoms all chasing him. Jamie Keats is trying to catch up to CG Allen before the DRS is uh, enabled at the beginning of this next lap. With that uh, elusive purple helmet. Currently I believe Jamie Keats is uh, near the lead of the championship as well so a win here will su certainly support his uh, title chances around here. Surprisingly, no virtual safety car. Oh, looks like Gareth is uh, Gareth and uh, Randoms have binned it at turn one. Don't know whether Glamborn or Randoms had any help from anyone else there. Whoa, were these smiles uh, smashed into the market up there? Mark Buck has lost a couple of positions there. I don't know whether he's got any wing damage. He's lost a lot of positions there as well. Matt Anderson's got the DRS on the Maverick looking for a move up into uh, this last, the last couple of set of turns. At the end of the hangar straight. Oh, Jamie Keats went very wide there. Like CG Allen's on the back of Beard Boost trying to turn him around, trying to keep him away from Jamie Keats. Go back to the battle for the lead. CG Allen's getting very close to the back of Beard Boost here. I'm just going to go for a move up into a turn six. He's going to go inside, outside. He's going to go for the outside. Oh! Beard Boost touched. Uh, the wheel of CG Allen then forcing him a bit wide. He's only lost a little bit of time. But he won't be happy with that at all. Jamie Keats has also got Kenzak to deal with and uh, Matt Anderson's right on the back of uh, Maverick going into uh, the Maggots and Beckett section. Maverick's a bit wide there. Anderson saving DRS. Oh, it's 
switched across there. He's lo lost a bit of time on the exit there. CJ Allen stays behind a beer boost. Also Kenzak behind. Jamie Keats as well as uh, Anderson stays behind. Maverick not making any moves at the moment. Everyone's trying to uh, hold track position. Yellow flag in sector two. Someone at the back, maybe. Anderson looks like he's going to try and make a move on Maverick into this turn. Turn six. Thought better of it. DJ Allen's probably going to look to set up a move onto the hanger straight. Trying to get as close as he can. After a three second time penalty, but at the moment he's 17th, he should be near the front. But uh, thanks to that spin on lap one, down near the back. But CJ Allen's going to make a move on Beard Boost. And whether Beard Boost is going to fight back into this next set of turns. Lining it up, thinks better of it, CG Allen goes defensive. Beardbrook's just right on his gearbox though, so he'll be looking to uh, make a move. We'll be looking for the toe down to here and try and make a pass. Don't know whether he's close enough. He's gaining, he's gaining. Thought better of it. Oh, CJ Allen's gone wide though. Beer Boost is going to think about the switch back on him, but he blocks him off. Oh, he's very, very, very close to his gearbox there. Kenzak starting to lose time to Jamie Keeps. Them mediums are starting to become quicker than them softs. Maverick has still got uh, Matt Anderson to deal with. So like Michael Booker's on the back of Degger as well. Very, very close to his gearbox. Oh, they've both spawned! Oh, Michael Booker's in a really, really, really bad place there. Oh, Mr. Schmee's here. Mr. Schmee's retired from the session. Oh, Michael Booker's got a drive for 10 penalty as well. Virtual safety guard. Round ball with a three second time penalty. Jamie Keats has got past Beard Boost as well. Beard Boost is uh, in the pit lane. Far, oh, and he's got a five second time penalty. I'm assuming he's going to pit for hard. He's trying to make him last towards the end. The winner of X1 did the same strategy. Matt Anderson and Beard Boost go, go past. has been enabled virtual safety is uh, virtual safety is over but Jamie Keats is all over the back of CJ Allen it's really not worked out for him here Jamie Keats is going to look up for a move into here oh he's touched he's touched CJ Allen but they've both gone wide but CJ Allen might lose his wing there but he's been alright he's going to go side by side through Magnus and Beckett's Taking a bit of inside curve there. Looking not getting a penalty. Mm -hmm. 
It's on stream. It's on stream. It's on stream. Stream, Mark. It's on stream. It's like Jamie Keats is starting to pull away from uh, CJ Allen and I'm Ken's like now, then uh, Soft is starting to go off. And a flag in sector one with anyone. Oh, yeah, uh, it's low. Spun it in turn one. The tyre's going to be hot, he needs to be careful. Destroying the 50 metre sign. Beard boost. Oh no, beard boost pitted for mediums. We might have pitted for hards. Look, he's running low fuel as well. Looking to make a move on dead gut. Push car three second time penalty. Jamie Keats has pulled uh, over a second out on uh, Arm Kenzak and CJ Allen. There's a battle at the end of the uh, hangar straight with Kenzak getting past CJ Allen. Oh, these smiles and a bit of a land of his own at the moment with two with the. What's that? Oh, that's Penko. He must have been that then. Behind MB Sock, MB Sock is in seventh at the moment. Beard boost has got past, uh, it's low. Smooth with a time penalty there as well. Down towards his race time at the end of the race. That CJ Allen starting to uh, lose time on his softs. I am Kenzak's now starting to uh, try and hunt down Jamie Keats. They go with a three second time penalty as well. Yellow flag in sector two, wonder what that's for. Gareth spun it, lost his wing. We'll have to change that. CJ Allen still within DRS range with uh, Iron Kenzak trying to stay with him. The yellow flag in sector two. It's gone now as well. CJ Allen and uh, Iron Kenza at the two Renaults to try and catch Jamie Keats. Path's about to make a move on randoms. Trying to hang us straight. I don't know whether he's close enough. Oh no, he's he looks like he's going to be. As he makes a move at the end of the hanger straight. CG Allen's on the gearbox of Iron Kenza getting that toe. Same with Matt Anderson on Maverick. with a three second time penalty as well. Oh, uh, I'm Kenzie's pitting on this lap. Mans is still on the back of the Maverick. Yellow flag in sector two. Oh, that's a that's a McLaren constant jets round. Oh, struggling to get back on the track. Lost his front wing. 
Oz is still on the grass, so he's trying to make sure he's out of the way of the path. And he smiles also in the pits. Get a flare, assuming that's still for constant jet. Fabric's now trying to catch CJ Allen on them softs. Even low on ERS though. It slows on the back of NB Soccer as well after his excursion at Turn 1. Showing some pace, it's low. We're looking to make a move on the back of the Hangar Straight. Thinking about Intermax and Beckett, he's got a beer boost catching him there at the moment. CJ Allen's now pitted, so is Matt Anderson. It means uh, Maverick's now into second position behind Jamie Keats. The path for the three second time penalty as well. Mr. Schmee, who crashed there earlier, has now left the session. Dead Ghost beat him in the pit lane, five second time penalty. I am Kenzak and uh, oh no, I am Kenzak's now passed his teammate CG Allen as he exits the pit lane. Anderson's about three and a half seconds behind them, trying to catch them. Deku comes up, uh, just pitted as well. I am Kenzak gets the time penalty, exceeding track limits. Beer boost is about a second behind its low at the moment. It slows right on the gearbox of uh, NB Soccer. We'll be looking to make a move. Definitely close enough this lap. He needs to get this done. Oh no, he's, uh, he's lost time in that uh, in that sector. It looks like Beer Boost is going to be getting close to him, but he's got it slows up the RS off NB Soccer. DJ Allen on the back of Kenzak. Oh, he's making the move. DJ Allen's passed his teammate. Yellow flag in sector two. It's Gareth again. Yellow flag in sector one. Probably someone moving out of the way. See what happens down into. Uh, oh, it's has got a lot better traction than uh, NB Soccer this time. We're definitely looking to make a move. Yeah, he's going to make the move into uh, turn six. With Beard Boost right behind him, looking to get past NB Soccer. It's low. Currently, the top four are still on the same set of tyres. They started on. Beerboost going for the move into the fast right hander before the Magnus and Beckett section. Maybe Soccer's going to look to have a go, is he? No, he's not. Michael Buckle with a three second time penalty. Beerboost will now try and hunt down. It's low. Smooth has got a McLaren behind him, but I'm assuming that's Constant Jet who has been lapped. I am Kenzak still behind his teammate. Maverick's currently six and a half seconds behind Jamie Keats.
yellow flag in sector three. Assuming that might someone get out of the way or it might be an incident. It's gone now, but Beer Boost has made the move on its low. He'll be looking to gap him now so he doesn't have to worry about him overtaking him. And the flag is sector three. Oh, there's a, there's a McLaren in the wall on the pit straight. I'm assuming he's lost it out of the last corner and Degger's lost it as well on turn two. Luckily he's not uh, damaged his wing. Takes out the 150 sign. Oh, and he's lost it again. Tires are too hot for you. Just got some McLaren offline as well. On subject, 10 second time penalty for exceeding track limits. They just lost a lot of time here. He's got to be careful not to spin it again. No, and he has. slow for the next sort of couple of corners because the tyres are too hot. Got to be careful not to lose it through here. Nearly loses it. Oh! He needs to be very, very, very careful. He's not lost his front wing, so he's a lucky boy. Beer Boost has now pulled a gap on it. It's low over, nearly over a second, so we won't have to worry, him, worry about him overtaking him. Right on that theme, we have Jamie Keats leading Maverick by 7.6 seconds, and then Beer Boost, who pitted early for mediums, who's going to try and make them go to the end, I believe. Who's uh, in third position with Itslow, who still hasn't stopped yet. And then MB Soccer, CJ Allen, and Kenzak still on the back of his teammate. And Matt Anderson, Worthy Smile, Smooth the Path, who had an incident on the first lap where he span, who's going to also be looking to go towards the end on them hards. And Push Car, Joe Pelly, Dead Go, who's had a couple of spins already. Uh, Randoms, Michael Booker, Penku, Glamborn and Constant Jet who is currently now pitting. There's a yellow flag in sector three. Now gone. Oh, Constant Jet's retired. I'm assuming he's retired in the pit lane and I don't know who this dual peak guy is. Probably he's not part of this league. Okay. It's Lowe's now pitted for Softs, I'm assuming, as he is uh, probably the only type of compounded goal, unless he's now going to the hards to the end, which uh, isn't a very good decision, in my opinion. Jamie Keats is all... Oh, no, Jamie Keats is pitted for Softs. Jamie Keats is now out of the pit lane with CJ Allen's now passed him. So Jamie Keats will be looking to get them soft. Oh, he's managed to stay in front of Kenzak, though, so he's in a Renault sandwich at the moment. But they are currently catching NB Soccer, so they'll be looking to uh, get past him pretty soon. So pitted for softs, not pitted for hards. My mistake. Good decision that is. And a bit of free air. He's got the path behind him though. Path will be looking to make an overtake on him if he can get to him. Oh, Degger's gone again. He's doing donuts in a really bad position. He's lost his front wing. His tyres are too hot. Oh, he's fell on the grass. So I can only, you can only blame yourself for that. Push, that push car. Oh, smooth pitted as well. Softs. Now push cars past him, but his push car's got a long way to go if he wants to try and catch the path. Edgar's still spinning on the grass. He needs to learn that his tyres are very, very, very hot. Oh my God, what is he doing? Because of time, to <laughs> 10 second time penalty for exceeding track limits. Envy Soccer's now pitted for his softs. Well, CG Allen's gone very wide, he's off the track. Assuming he might have had an incident. Oh, Beard Booster's now into the lead with Jamie Keats now in second with Kenzak behind him, but I'm assuming there's been an incident. But CG Allen's now a very, very long way away. And Maverick now comes out in sixth. Good race from MB Soccer though, he's uh, a lot higher than I thought he would be. Now on the softs, he's not pass by the path. They go with a 5 second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane as well. Uh, CJ Allen's about, oh he's been passed by Anderson as well, but he's now a second behind. And Maverick a second behind him. 
I'm assuming there's been an incident between Jamie Keats and CJ Allen uh, that we haven't seen in the stream. I'm assuming there's probably a bit, there'll be an incident filed against him. Now, Beard Boost has now got to try and make these mediums last at the end of the race, but he's got Jamie Keats trying to catch him. Jamie Keats is taking a lot of time out of him, but he's not even going for a fast lap at the moment, so I'm assuming he uh, try and catch him pretty quickly. Got a yellow flag in sector two and three. I'm assuming someone's lost it, lost it out of Maggots and Beckett. Yellow flag's now gone. Good lap there from Jamie Keats in the Scuderia Ferrari. Path is catching up to Worthy Smile as well. And who's catching up to Itzlow, but Itzlow's now on a fresh set of softs, so I'm assuming he should start pulling away very soon. CG Allen's on the back of Anderson, but Maverick's right on the back of him. Abbott should be able to get past him pretty quickly. DRS open, but CG Allen's got DRS and Matt Anderson, and there's a, a racing point in front of the Ferrari. I think Dagger's having a bit of a problem at the moment. Maverick's definitely going to be trying to look at a move at the end of the hangar straight. But so is CJ Allen on Matt Anderson. Jamie Keats is still catching Beard Boost. CJ Allen's going to make a move on Anderson, but is Maverick going to make a move on Anderson as well? No, he thinks that of it. Oh, he's gone wide! He's going to try and go around the outside of him. Oh, Anderson's let the brakes off! Oh, and Maverick's made it. He's made it stick around the outside. Good move there uh, from uh, Pete Pellini. Now Maverick needs to pass CJ Allen. Kenzak's now 5.8 seconds behind Jamie Keats, who is rapidly closing in on Beard Boost. Whose aging mediums I don't think are going to make it to the end. Mavic's right on the back of CG Allen. He's gone around the outside of him, Pete Pellini. Oh, and CJ Allen's gone wide. Yellow flag in sector two. Oh, Kenzak's gone round. Kenzak's gone round in Maggots and Beckett's. I don't know who this racing point is, but he definitely needs to get out of the way here. I think it's Penku. CG Allen's gone wide again. Dagger three second time hunt here for multiple warnings. Assuming that's about track limits. Path has now got past Worthy a smile. Oh, they're battling in at the end of the hangar straight. Jamie Keats is now within DRS range with Beard Boost as well now. We're looking to make a move soon. Dagger's three laps down. Maverick's got a long way to go until he wants to try and catch Jamie Keats. But uh, Matt Anderson's going to try and stick to the back of Iron Kenzak. Wonder whether it's low can catch them on them softs. Jamie Keats, three second time penalty. He doesn't want to be doing that, especially with Beard Boost. Beard Boost is a very, very clean racer. Eleven 
point four man. Jamie Keats is right on the back of Beer Boost at the moment. He's definitely going to be able to move. <laughs> Birdie smile with a three second time penalty as well. And this is still on the back of CJ Allen as well. Beer is definitely going to try and go defensive, try and protect his lead. He's only got five laps to try and do it. Especially with Jamie Keats with his three second time penalty. Oh, very, very, very close. I wonder who's going to round the outside, Jamie Keats. He's done it. Yeah, but he's going to try and make sure he's got the run on him. This is still on the back of CJ Allen. Joe Pelly is also on the back of Smooth Dagger with another three second time penalty. Joe Pelly made them hard to last most of this race. He's still on 19 lap old hards. Looking to sugar to pass Smooth. He's on uh, fresh softs. Beer Boost is now out of DRS range of Jamie Keats. DJ Allen's still about 1.3 seconds behind Maverick. Running out of DRS though. Matt is also about out of DRS range as well. Bear Boost is struggling to stay with Jamie Keats as well. He's got 15 lap mediums on. Pass with 20 lap old hards to make them go to the end. NB Soccer's now past Worthy Smile who's pitted. I'm assuming he's going to try and uh, go on some softs and try and set the fastest lap outside the top 10. That's if Pushkar passes him. Which he has. I think smooth, smooth, not going to get him, I don't think. No, where the smiles now left the pit lane. The closest battle on track seems to be Joe Pelly and smooth at the moment. Everyone else is really spread out. No more pitting. Oh, Joe Pelly's gone wide there. He lost a lot of time. outside the top 10 is a 31 flat with Penku. Walker's now got the fastest lap outside the top 10 and Penko's done a 29.4 so that's now the fastest lap of the race Jamie Keats is starting to make a gap to Beer Boost but he needs to make it more than 3 seconds it's currently at 2.7 seconds I think Beer Boost is starting to really struggle on them old mediums Joe Pelly's still within DRS range of Smooth. And we're going to try and make a move. Not close enough this time. Not one. Oh, it slows now. Catching I am Kenzak. He's less than a second away. Have to 
Kenzak made his mistake in Maggots and Beckett's. Beggar's pitted to softs as well, so he'll be looking to try and set the fastest lap of the race. Jamie Keats is now three and a half seconds in front of Beer Boost, but I don't know what the time penalty situation is there. So I don't know whether he's going to be able to keep, but I think Beer Boost has still got that five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. CJ Allen's still one and a half seconds behind Maverick. It slows now, 0.4 of a second behind I'm Kenzak. He's going to be trying to make a move soon. He'll have, yeah, he's got a far second one for when he speeded the pit lane when he pitted for his medium, so it won't show whether he's got one, I don't think, or pit lane speed, it only shows him for time penalties. So yellow flag in sector th three, assuming that someone going slow. Back to Jamie Keats from Beerboost now is 4.2 seconds. Jamie Keats is pushing. Benko with a three second time penalty. It's low. 0.3 behind high end Kanzak. Stay on board for this battle. That's random in the pit lane as well. He'll be looking to put pit the soft to try and get the fastest lap outside the top 10. Remember that anyone that uh, sets the fastest lap time outside the top 10 gets an extra point for the championship standings. Oh, sorry, two points I think it is in the speed. It's Lowe's looking to make a move. It's turn six. Is he going to make it stick? I'm Kenzak's on the outside of him. Oh, he's not made it stick. Oh, he's going to try and go on the inside. Oh, very, very, very close. He's nearly... Oh, Kenzak's going to the gravel on the outside of turn eight. That low's going to have made that move stick unless Kenzak's got something to say about it. CJ Allen's now within the RS range of Maverick. He'll be looking to try and make a move on this last lap. As uh, Jamie Keats crosses the start finish line to start the final lap, Beard Boost is now 4.8 seconds behind Jamie Keats. Maverick now comes out the last corner with CJ Allen right on his gearbox, looking to make a move. Iron Kanzak's only 0.5 behind it slow, but he needs to get closer if he wants to try and make a move. Joe Pelly's still 0.4 behind, smooth, still not made a move yet. Six behind Gareth with another three second time penalty. Jamie Keats is now more than five seconds in front of uh, Beard Boost. Looks like Jamie Keats is going to win this Grand Prix. I don't think CJ Allen is going to be close enough. The amount of DRS, yeah, he's more than 0.7 behind. And here he's, oh, and he's now got a three second time penalty eye on Kenzak. As we see Jamie Keats come through the final uh, corner to win the British Grand Prix. He'll be happy with that one, but it's whether Beard Boost gets past him. He doesn't. Uh, yellow flag in sector two. Can't see who that is, but Maverick finishes third with CJ Allen in fourth. Looks like Degg has spun again. Anderson finishes fifth. Uh, Itzlo's managed to hold off eye on Kenzak. To finish sixth, depending on penalties, which he does. Iron Kenzak up finish seventh. He looks up like the path, who's made a good finish into eighth. The yellow flags are sector two and three. Assuming that's still for Degger. He looks like he's lost his front wing again. Envy Soccer comes through the final chord to finish in P9. Uh, 
Oh, let's race it slow. Bush car looks like he's going to finish 10th unless penalties have got anything to say about it with Worthy Smile in 11th. Push car finishes 10th with Worthy Smile in 11th. Wonder who's, what the battle is going to be happening between Smooth and Joe Pelly. Joe Pelly gets more penalties and that completes this race. Congratulations on the win, Jamie Keats, and the podium for Maverick and Beard Boost. Hold on, guys. It's the first one I've done. And the uh, running order is Jamie Keats wins it uh, in front of Beer Boost, Maverick, CJ Allen in fourth, Anderson, Itzlo, Iron, Kenzat, The Path, Envy, Soccer, Pushkar, Worthy, Smile, Joe Pelly, Smooth, Zola, Randoms, Penku, Glamborn, Degga, and then Constant Jet and Mr. Smooth didn't finish. The uh, fastest lap outside the top 10 being Penku, who also got the fastest lap of the race. Just from Jamie Keats.